Let's see. Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. I don't know. Let's talk about Fortnite. Before we talk about Fortnite, just a reminder to like the show. We're 258. We've got a long way to go still. We have to get to 500. 500. We get 500 bucks. So please, before you leave, um, or even not before you leave, right now, go to the like button and cl- press like so we can get from 258 to 500 uh, during this show, right? 258 and... Um, in less than an hour, so we could make it to 500 if I go for two hours today. So keep going, keep pressing that button so that I am encouraged to stay on and to try to get to 500 because... All right, Fortnite, now let me admit right off the bat that I do not play video games, that until this became a news item, I didn't know what Fortnite was, that Epic, I still don't know what Epic is, I guess Epic is the production company that makes Fortnite the game. So... I am here talking about Fortnite, not as an expert in games, but just to point out that Fortnite, unfortunately, the Epic, the company that owns Fortnite, is using antitrust laws, not the marketplace, not competition, but it's using antitrust laws in order to get its way. So here's what's happening with Fortnite, right? Epic added an option for Fortnite players to either pay it directly, Epic directly, to buy in the app currency to pay a premium to go through Apple. So you get a discount for using the in-app pay option. Right? Now, this was supposed to get Apple to fold and to let them because Fortnite is huge. Fortnite is huge. But what Apple has done is it's pulled Fortnite for the App Store for breaking the in-app payment rule. Now, Fortnite was completely prepared for this because immediately they launched a massive media marketing campaign to portray Apple as an authoritarian, dictatorial um, monopolist who was not letting the market work. By the way, they did this with Google as well, but they didn't launch the marketing campaign against Google. Uh, But both companies are being sued. So they did two things immediately upon Apple and Google withdrawing the app from the stores. They immediately filed a lawsuit, which shows they were prepared. And they immediately launched this impressive, massive, with amazing videos, campaign against Apple primarily, less so at Google. And the lawsuit is claiming that Apple is using its monopolistic, or Google and Apple are using their monopolistic standing to dictate to Epic the terms by which it relates to its customers. Now, this is just horrible. The use by businesses of antitrust laws in order to get their way, in order to circumvent the marketplace, is just horrific. And this is a this isn't a little company. This isn't a company that's completely dependent on Apple. This is a company that has an agreement with Apple and with Google to be on their platform under certain conditions, which they clearly have violated. And that Apple and Google in retaliation for them violating it, have withdrawn their apps from their platforms. There's no monopolistic, there is no such thing as a monopoly. We've talked about this many times. Apple is within its legal rights, and the only way Epic can win, the only way Epic can win this lawsuit, is by using anti-capitalist, anti-market, anti-entrepreneurial, Antitrust laws. So Epic is undercutting its reliance on a market process for its own growth and its own success by using antitrust laws against other companies. 
it, it, now this has become prevalent, unfortunately, in Silicon Valley and elsewhere. That when you don't get your way in negotiating deals, you instead try to get your way by using government force. And it's truly sad. Because I'm sure Epic's a great company and they've done amazing things and they've created amazing games. And they're incredibly popular and you guys love them. And it's all good. And yet, they have to use antitrust to get their business outcome. They have to use the government. This is the essence of cronyism. So it's really, really horrible what Epic is doing. Stephen asks, I've heard the argument made, the argument that Apple and Google app stores are public utilities. Do you think there's any rational basis for that? Of course not. How can they be public utilities? What is a public utility? I mean, in my view, nothing is a public utility. Somebody built it. Somebody owns it. Somebody has risk involved in the enterprise. Somebody created it. It's private property. The Apple store, the Google store, are private property. It's private property that a lot of people utilize. But the fact that a lot of people utilize something doesn't make it public. It was created by somebody. And that creation, that building of something, gives that person property rights over it. Not to mention the money that was put into it, the investment. Apple owns the Apple App Store. Google owns the Google App Store. Because they created it, they built it, they made it, they funded it. They have every legal title possible over it. Public utility is just an excuse for the government to take over something that's private today. But there is no such thing in reality as a public utility. The public can own anything. The public is nobody. Who's the public? Where's the public? It's not any particular group. It's just the public. So no. There is no such thing as public utility. And certainly in this case, certainly in this case, you know, you could make all certain arguments. Well, you could make certain arguments about, you know, you can only lay one cable in a road. So, they, you know, there's, they, there's, it's impossible to have competition because of the metaphysical fact that, I don't know. I mean, I have to make up arguments because I think there's always possibility of competition. But here, anybody could start an app store. The fact that Apple and Google have such massive footprints is because they're such successful companies. But you can compete with Apple and Google, maybe not successfully, but there's nothing metaphysically preventing you for that competition. So no, there is nothing, no excuse for viewing Apple and Google as anything but competitive enterprises that, you know, where they have certain rules that you might not like. That you might not like. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes 
But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.